Hey guys, this is Miss Christy from the Warnsburg branch and I found this Brain Labs for Kid Book by Eric H. Chudler. It has some great learning activities you can do with stuff around the house. In this video, we will learn about neurons and do lab one. For this lab, all you will need is four different colored Play-Dohs. The human body is made up of billions of neurons, 86 billion neurons to be exact. Neurons in size are microscopic and most people have never seen a real neuron. Have you ever seen a real neuron? In the Brain Lab book, neurons are compared to batteries since they create and give off small amounts of electricity. Neurons communicate by sending electrical signals over short and long distances. An axon in a human body can get over three feet long. An axon from the toe to the neck of a giraffe can be almost 15 feet long. Think about all the neurons in your body and how well they must work together. There are four major parts of a neuron. Dendrites, cell body, also known as the soma, synaptic terminal, and axon. Dendrites extend from the soma and receive the electrical signals or messages from other cells. Dendrites are often compared to tree roots in the way they branch out and extend from their cell. Signals enter the neuron through dendrites. Dendrites extend from the soma. The dendrites branch out and extend away from the cell in a tree root-like manner. The more surface area the dendrites cover, the easier the signal or electrochemical impulse can be received. We know that dendrites reach out to receive signals, but then where does the signal go? Once the signal is received, it then goes on to the soma. Here, the soma integrates the information received from other dendrites and determines where the messages need to be transferred to. How do these messages get transferred on? Through the axon. Fun fact, dendrites are thicker than an axon and an axon is several times thinner than a human hair. Imagine billions of long and short hair-like neurons sending, receiving, and processing information just so we can walk and talk. Think of all the neurons firing in your brain, your eyes, your hands, and even your twitching feet while watching this video. Axons are insulated in order to allow the signal to travel faster and farther. This insulation is known as the myelin sheath. Axons carry information out of the neuron. Dendrites receive information and axons send information. At the end of the axon is a synaptic terminal. Most synapses function by converting the electrical signals it receives into neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters then go and bind onto other receptors to then be processed to carry out the signal's initial purpose. Now that we've learned about neurons, let's build our own. Now is when you will need your four different colors of Play-Doh. If you're like me and can only find three colors, that's fine as well. I'll show you how to adjust for just three colors of Play-Doh. Gather small amounts of modeling clay in four different colors. Each color of clay will represent a different part of the neuron. Roll the clay of one color into an acorn-sized ball and then press it flat. This piece of clay will represent the soma. In this case, I use the color green. With the second color of clay, add extensions to the soma. These extensions represent dendrites. I use the color orange. Then I added the dendrites in a tree root-like manner to the green soma. Roll a third color of clay into a thin line. In this case, I used the colors blue and orange I rolled each color into a thin line and then I took them and twisted them together to make the axon of our neuron. Here I pinch one end of both clays together. While holding on to the pinched end, I use my other hand to twist the colors together 
and pinch them closed at the other end. Then I attach the axon to the soma. I use the color blue. This last piece of clay represents the synaptic terminal. I rolled the blue clay into a small ball and then pressed it onto the end of our axon. Here's our finished neuron. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.